Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing this look here. It is obviously a smoky eye and I wanted to show you guys this makeup look because it is the simplest smoky eye that I've ever learned. So I learned this through the Runway Room Academy. They taught me how to do the simplest smoky eye and I wanted to share it with all of you guys because it really, really helped me. Before I started doing clients, I was really, really scared of doing a smoky eye. It is just really intimidating because it's really intense and it looks hard. But seriously, guys, this is the easiest makeup look that you will ever do. Like, now I do smoky eyes quicker than any other makeup look because it's that easy because of this process. I do this look in three steps and I show you those three steps throughout this video. And in this video, I am using all Runway Room products. So I'm using... Um, the mineral skin pack for my foundation and I'm using the runway room smoke pack on my eyes I will link both of those packs down below so that you guys can grab those packs if you want to achieve the exact same look that I can do and if not I've showed you the colors that I've used which you can replicate this look with whatever colors that you have in your drawers at home or something like that um, that are that are similar colors basically just matte brown and a really 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 dark brown like almost a black so I, I thought I should just say that as a disclaimer because I have a lot of people telling me that all I use is runway room and all this stuff like not everyone can get runway room um I understand that completely and I'm not showing you guys these tutorials saying you can only achieve this look using these products obviously you can achieve the same look with different products so I'm just showing you the colors that I use and the products that I find works best for me and my favorite kind of products um, and then you guys can either go get those products if you like the look of them yourselves or you can obviously use something if you have it similar like that's not an issue for me so I just thought I should tell you guys that because I've had a lot of comments like that so yeah this look is so easy for any beginner this is going to help you because seriously it's so so easy you can also use my discount code um, store wide so that code is MIA10 which gives you 10% off your order so if you want to see how I achieve this look keep watching so before I do my makeup I like to start with this 24 karat gold eye mask so this eye mask is a collagen eye mask it reduces puffiness and it also decreases the darkness under your eyes so I love to do this before my makeup um, in this pack there's actually six which is really good value so it comes looking like this in this little pack and all you do is you wash your face before you put it on and you pat dry your skin and then you stick them on for 10 to 20 minutes and then once you take it off you rub in the excess um, liquid that's still on your face and then you're ready to do your makeup so I'm gonna pop this on and leave it on for a little bit and I'll come back to you guys once the time is up I thought I'd just quickly show you guys what it looks like so you literally just place it straight under your eyes to reduce those dark circles and the puffiness. These um, are, have just been stocked by Runway Room. So we have them in store and online. So if you'd like to grab yourself um, a box of these, then you can head to the Runway Room um, website, which is www.runwayroom.com and you can purchase some of these for yourself. I'll also leave the link in my bio if you'd like to grab them. So now that the eye mask is off, I'm going to begin my foundation. So I'm gonna start with the primer by Runway Room. This is um, the Flawless Finish Primer. And it is a mattifying primer. I'm just going to apply this with a stippling brush. You want to start in your T-zone because that's where most people produce oil in their skin. This priming application will also um, create longevity for your foundation. So it will last longer throughout the night. If you're going to have a really long night or a really long day, then this is a really vital step. I actually just bought this new cream um, about an hour ago from Mecca. It's the Origin Jinzin um, Refreshing Eye Cream. I'm just going to try it today. I've never used it before. So I think it, it's kind of like this pearly cream. I think it's meant to um, be quite luminous under your eyes. I like that for this look because it is um, very dark. So I do want my under eyes to be really bright. I'm just going to apply that with my finger. I like that. I think it definitely did make my under eyes look a lot more brighter than they were. So I'm going to be using the Mineral Skin Pack today from Runway Room. So basically it consists of the Mineral Skin Stick and also the Mineral Powder. So my stick is in the shade E and my powder is also in the shade E. So um, I'm going to be using them today. E is sort of more like for olive skin tones. 
Um, if you're more of like a mid skin tone, I would use a C. I usually use a C. So to begin with, I'm going to apply um, a thin layer of this stick to my face. Um, I like to do this because I like a little bit of coverage on before um, I go into my eyes. I just don't like really sitting here with no makeup on completely. So I do my eyes and then after that I perfect my base. Um, so I also like to not completely finish my base um in the beginning because you may get fallout um especially with a smoky eye although i am really only using pencil and a pressed powder it is possible so um i don't really get fallout with runway room eyeshadows to be honest but i never really perfect my base before i do my eyes i just don't really like it because i do handle my face a lot throughout my makeup application so to apply this i'm going to be using a flat um foundation brush and I'm just literally applying straight onto my skin so I am using the mineral skin pack because I do want it to be more of a fuller coverage with a smoky eye um, I think if you're doing a smoky eye you do need quite a full coverage foundation um, it doesn't look great if you you have like a light coverage because it is such an intense eye look although it is a full coverage um, I find that my skin definitely can breathe with this foundation on because it is mineral so it doesn't clog up and congest your skin i actually don't break out um after using these products as well i've been using this lately and i don't really have any problematic areas on my skin and i also really love this stick because it's so creamy like you can see how easily i apply it like i've used some sticks where they're really really hard and dry and you just can't really blend it into your skin um, and it kind of hurts applying it but this is super smooth and silky it's really important to go down your neck as well Especially because this is a little bit darker than my skin tone right now. So you definitely want to balance out the colours. So I go over my ears just to make sure that they're the same colour as my face. And you can also see the way I'm applying it is literally just patting it. Um, I definitely find that you should use a brush rather than a beauty blender because um, the bristles really do help to make sure... Um, that the foundation is fully synced into your skin. So now that I have a base on, I'm going to conceal my eyelids. So I'm going to be using Pink Flesh by Runway Room. Um, this concealer counteracts all of the purple veins um, on your eyelids. So I'm just going to quickly put some of that on top. Okay, so to do my eye say, I'm going to be using the Runway Room Smoke Pack. So this pack, um, it comes looking like this and it consists of a crease shade, which is the contour shade. It's made basically a matte brown um, and this eyeshadow also called Soot. It's like um, a really dark, dark brown. It's almost a black. So it also comes with the black eye definer, which is a black eyeliner pencil and a little HD brush. So it's just a tiny firm brush that you can use to pat in the eyeshadows and also a mascara so th those eyeshadow pans you can buy multiples of them and you can keep them in a z palette right now i only have one <laughs> um that is one of the shades i'll be using today um i'm definitely going to build up this palette but at the moment this is the only one i have so i'm going to be using that today so to begin the look i'm going to be going in with the matte brown shade that i just showed you guys and just on a blending brush, I'm going to be placing that in my crease. Guys, you're going to be shocked with how easy this smoky eye is. Like, so many people are so scared of smoky eyes. And I used to be one of those people. Like, when I first started doing makeup, I remember saying to my mom, like, I would just would be so scared if someone asked me to do a smoky eye. Like, if a client came in, they're like, hey, can I get a smoky eye? I'd be so scared. And she was like, seriously, me, our smoky eyes are the easiest thing to do. And I was like, what? Like... I just, you know, because they look so intimidating. Like, it's literally three steps and that's it. So, this is the first step, um, which is the contour shade in the crease. Basically, to warm up the eye look. Without this, it'll look really cool and really stark and really dark. So, you don't want to do it without a transition shade. Okay, so the second step is the eye definer. So, I'm taking the black eye pencil. Make sure it's sharpened, but not too sharp. Um, that you'll hurt your eyes. So all you've got to do literally is um, run the black along your lash line, your upper lash line, and you can be as messy as you like. This is not like a full, you know, precise wing. It's nothing like that. You need to just rub it on and then you smudge it in with your brush. And it is like a really easy step. The only thing that you need to worry about is don't follow your lash line all the way to the edge because um, that's when people drag their eyes down and that is... Um, the biggest mistake in a smoky eye it's the only thing that people really get wrong so you just have to make sure that you lift it a little bit before the edge of your eye so it doesn't drag down you're just keeping it and 
like elongating your eye basically so you can see how rough I'm going it looks horrible <laughs> don't freak out yet it'll get better this is the worst part when clients look at like in the mirror at this stage and you're like still working on and they're like and also something you should remember is you want to make like this has to be the darkest point like this is the deepest and most intense point of the whole look so you really want to build up this color right on your lash line as close as you can get and just make it really really dark because it's just going to get lighter from here and you don't want it to look wishy-washy so see how i like haven't gone right like down i've sort of brought it up a little bit okay so like look at how messy that is it's not an issue like this is why it's so easy for people because it's just so misjudged like you just don't need to be clean with this and precise like it's just the opposite like this is the messiest look you'll do so now i'm just smudging this eyeshadow in with the hd brush so i'm basically just smudging the edge you don't want to smudge what you just did on the lash line because obviously as i said you want that to be the darkest point and this is sort of just fading it out a bit so that it can blend into the shadow and you also want to use this brush to smudge out this upwards okay so now that i've packed that eyeliner on i'm gonna go in with soot that really dark browny blacky sort of shade i'm just gonna pack that on my lid so now that i've packed those colors on i'm gonna go back in with my blending brush and my contour shade and just run that through my socket again just to blend all the colors together and I have lost a little bit of warmth in that process, so I'm just going to build that back up. Another thing you guys should remember is the shape that you want to blend your smoky eye into. As you can see, I've really brought it out. I will be cleaning that up a little bit. But um, I definitely do want to bring my eyes out a little bit. I do have almond-shaped eyes, so I do want to bring them up a bit rather than really straight or really circle. I don't really like that look. So up and out is definitely a bit more fluttering for my face and for most people's faces. Clean that up, I'm just gonna go in with my concealer brush and just wipe it upwards following the direction of my eye. So now those are my eyelids done. They're looking a little bit crazy because I haven't got any um, shadow smoked out on the bottom lash line. So I'm gonna do that now. So first I'm going to line my waterline with that same black pencil. And then I'm going to go in with um, this soot shade again and the same HD brush and just follow my lash line. So now the eyes are starting to come together. They are like a really intense black smoky eye. So basically the steps were, step one was to put the contour shade through your crease. Step two was to use the black eye definer pencil to smudge it along your lash line. And step three was to pat on the soot shade, which is the really dark shade that I have on my, la on my lid. And to just blend that into the contour shade. So that was the three steps to do the smoky eye on the lid. And then after that, all I did was the pencil in my waterline and put the soot shade on my bottom lash line that's it it's so simple so i just really quickly um applied some power lash mascara by runway room and also popped on a, a set of false lashes so i used little lash today they look really beautiful they're like my favorite at the moment um they're really voluminous but they're not extremely long if i was to just use my natural lashes they do definitely get lost in the black um shadow behind them in saying that if you don't want to apply um a set of false lashes then that's completely fine um i suggest just applying maybe two to three coats of our power lash mascara because it is the best mascara it is so voluminous it's ridiculous so i would suggest applying that um two to three coats i also filled in my brows um i just did like pretty natural try to make them a little bit bushy but not too much um with our medium brow dust by runway room so that is a brow powder and it just looks like this um and you use it with a little angled brush and it's the easiest way to do your brows honestly so now i'm gonna finish up by applying a little bit more of this stick foundation to my skin just to build up the coverage a little bit because i did only do a thin layer beforehand
So now I'm going to be using the mineral powder by Runway Room to build up that little bit extra coverage. This also, so right now I look quite flat. I'm very one dimensional and this has a bit of a glow through it. So that's why I'm using this today. This is a part of the mineral skin pack, as I said before. So I just use a firm brush and I just pat this all over my face. You guys, I have been using this by itself and it is amazing. I would have never in a million years used a foundation powder by itself. Like it was always something that I was like, no, like I don't get it. Guys, this works. I'm telling you, it is the best. I use it when I am going to uni or um, just like something that I don't really want to go like with no makeup on, but I don't really have time to put on a lot of makeup or if I don't really want to wear a lot of makeup at all. I will um, just pop this mineral powder on by itself and put some mascara on and a little bit of blush and it is the best. Like it has coverage, put some blush to give me some life and some lashes and it looks the best. Like you seriously have to try it. If you're one of those people that sort of just likes a little bit of makeup and doesn't have enough time to do a full face of makeup every day, then this product is for you, seriously. So next I'm going to be using the Glow Palette. This also comes in the Mineral Skin Pack. Um, it is my favourite product of all time. Like It's like a Z palette, but it's like a mini one. So there's three um, pans that you pop in. And what's so amazing about it is if you say you use the bronzer more than anything and you run out of the bronzer pan, but there's still these two, the illuminator and the blush, that you can buy the pan separately. So you can buy another bronzer pan instead of having to repurchase the whole palette again, which is obviously more expensive. You can just buy a single pan, which I think is genius. I'm just applying that with an angled brush. So I'm going to be using the bronzer first, which is called Vegas Sunset, just in the hollows of your face. Because it is a smoky eye look, I'm actually going to apply a lot of bronzer because I want to make my face really contoured. Um, I really like that look with a smoky eye, like a really structured face, which I don't have naturally. <laughs> Next from the Glow Palette, I'm going to be using the Illuminator which is this pearly shade in the middle. This is so beautiful because it is not a sparkly illuminator. It's just a really nice natural glow. Like it looks really, really natural. It doesn't look really fake and overdone. I'm just applying that with um, an eyeshadow blending brush. I find that this is a really direct application. So pretty. I also like to take that down the bridge of my nose. And my cupid's bow. And also on my brow bone. Lastly, I'm going to be using the Peach Punch by Runway Room, the blush. I'm just going to put that on the apples of my cheek, blending upwards. I think the blush is really important with a smoky eye because, like, look how dark this side of my face is. Like, it's really washed out. And blush just brings the life back into your face. To finish off this look, I'm just going to be applying some lip prep. This is just... A pinky sort of colour. I wanted to keep it quite natural and neutral. I don't want to put anything that is bright on my lips. Um, I hate that look with a smoky eye, honestly. I like it to be pretty neutral when I have a really intense eye. This lip prep is amazing. It is exfoliating, plumping because it has menthol in it and minty. And it has a pink tint, so it's perfect, seriously. I use this I like 10 times a day, literally. I apply it all day. And I go to bed with it on. It is my favourite. It can be used as a lip balm as well. Like just for top ups. Um, to make sure that your lips are moisturised. Or as lip colour obviously because it has pigment. Okay guys that is a finished look. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video then please give it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more of my videos. And I'll see you in my next one.